Welcome to San Diego de la Cala Mission. I will be your helpful tour guide. If you go in, be quiet, okay? Remember, never make a sound. This is the holy water, and we have just entered the church. You really don't want to be like these guys because they didn't show up. You're always supposed to show up, and if you didn't, then you'd get harshly... Well, you'd, you wouldn't get treated well after that. Let's just say that. San Diego de Alcala Mission was founded in 716-1769 in San Diego. San Diego de Alcala Mission was the first of was the first mission in the El Camino Real. Julio Sera, a Spanish Roman Catholic priest, built this mission with the help of Jose de Gavez, who was a Spanish lawyer and inspector general in New Spain. Jose de Gavez actually helped Junipero Sera get to California with the purpose of building and protecting the missions. Notably, Junipero Sera is responsible for founding eight other missions, including Mission San Luis Abisto Abis de Tolosa, Mission San Francisco de Isis, and Mission San Gabriel, which is not far from our school. Life was very tough at the San Diego de Alcala Mission. The Native Americans were treated like slaves. They did not get paid nor treated well at all. In fact, they worked non-stop for months and years without any breaks, resulting in a dramatic decline of their Native American population. San Diego de Alcala Mission alone had 4,000 deaths due to Spanish atro atrocities not related to disease. We are now entering the front of the mission. This is where the natives would come out. They came out when the revolt happened and would burn down the mission. There was a major revolt that <clears throat> at the San Diego de Alcala Mission in 1775 where an uprising by 800 Native Americans pillaged the mission and burned it into in it to the ground killing a blacksmith, a carpenter and father Hypey or I can't really pronounce that who became California's first Catholic mar marker which is um I'm ready. um that is someone who got killed because of their religious beliefs. Marat it's not a marauder, it's like Myr Mar Martyr Martyr. Ultimately, Father Huna Perosera returned to the site with the very next year, seventeen seventy six to oversee the rebuilding of the mission what major crops okay of the rebuilding of the mission okay I accidentally read some of the next question we're entering the mission again or the church and now entering the farm I think pigs have some more space. They're still kind of cramped. Corn, wheat, barley, kidney beans, and chickpeas were major crops grown at the mission. All of the farms were tended to by American Indians. The Spaniards taught them how to tend to the crops and livestock, which consisted of cattle, sheep, and pigs. Importantly, Buena Perecera planted the first vineyard in the mission system. 
right here. This was the first one. Because this is the first one that I planted when I planted this whole rose of We are now entering the courtyard. San Diego del Alcala mission is a is unique in that it and is that it is the first is the very first tw what of the twenty one California missions of missions and is named after the fifteenth century saint. Didacus de of Alcala, more commonly known as, is known as Saint Diego. The mission was also the site of the first Christ, Christian, bur, Christian burial in Alta California. One of the most striking features of the mission is the 56th tall bell wall that holds five bells. The biggest one the of these bronze bells weighs over half a ton. Let me go show you the bell wall now. The bell wall. So, five big bells on a huge wall. And in my opinion, it looks really, really nice. Oh, fun fact, these were used for, um, earthquake st stability, so the whole mission wouldn't fall down. Again, the church, and the courtyard. Oh! I was about to show you something that wasn't supposed to show you. Some of the important rooms of the San Diego de Alcala mission is the Casa de los Padres, room which contains large full color drawings of the mission, events, mission, events, as well as detailed mo a detailed model of the mission. Yet, the most important room and where Father Junipero said a legacy rem remains is La Casa de Padre Sera room where Padre Sera slept and this is believed to be the only original room to have survived the Indian attacks. I will show you that right now. I'm just a long jumper. So this was supposed to have some stone down here and a bed and a place to dress up. So I'm just gonna kind of give you show of how this would be built. Kind of like just get some stone, which they would go through a process to make. And then get a white bed. That's basically it, except there would be one part of it that would have a little dressing part, so he could dress up. Now I'm going to long jump again. Oh my god, that was such a good one. I mean, I definitely can't fly in this game. So, at this time, no one would live here because it was around the time where I was going to be 
Ben nimmt. Ben. Congratulations. It's gonna be abandoned again after you build the chapel. Okay. Now San Diego de Alcala Mission is a Roman Catholic church. It was named a minor basilica by Pope Paul VI. The church provides baptism, reconciliation, holy etherist, and other sacraments. There were nearly 36,000 visitors every year. Well, that's the whole thing. I just built the chapel for extra. It's kind of fun. As you can see, at this time, American Indian labor was still in use. So these are the American Indians. And up here, it is the man that's trying to build the top part. It was a very big chapel. Two towers in front. Like so. Staircase up to the top. And you can see whole mission from here. Well, guess that's done for the video. Bye bye, man.